welcome back, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Sean. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today and hanging out with me. And for those of you returning, welcome back and thank you very much for clicking on the video. It is currently a beautiful Sunday here in North Wales. I am actually filming a little bit later than what I normally do. Brett has actually gone to the golf course for the first time this year. So that's really exciting for him. Um, so I thought I would sit down and catch up with you all and share you all my stitching that I've done this week. Just a quick life update. I am still working from home um, and probably will do for the foreseeable future. The restrictions are starting to lift here in the UK. So that's quite, you know, that's that's really good. You know, we're able to see visitors in the garden now and eventually, you know, that will be um, lifted even more as well. So things are starting to make a bit of, of movement in terms of going back to normality. What that looks like, I don't know, but um, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Both my parents have been vaccinated, so they've had their first vaccination and their second one's due in June. Um, I haven't had mine yet, I'm not sure when that will be. The only real difference really that um, has been a change in the last couple of weeks is me and Brett are starting to exercise and we're changing our diet a little bit. Me and Brett are vegan, so it is really important for us to make sure that we get the right nutritions. And so I'd say the past month, we have really focused on that and it has been wonderful. We've been working together to ensure that we're both getting the right nutritions. Um, and it's been, it's been really, really good. I feel really good. We're getting loads of like all sorts of variety of um, foods into us. Another thing that we have, have done as well is we have signed up to Gusto. So for those of you who don't know who Gusto is, it is a company that basically sends you meals. So you can order four meals and it'll, they'll send you all the ingredients that you use to uh, create the meal. And we've really enjoyed that as well. It's given us a real good variety of different nutrition. And it's made us eat things that we necessarily wouldn't eat before. Um, so that's been that's been great. And the meals that we've had have been just amazing. Really enjoyed them. The thing that we hadn't focused on for a while was exercising. So we kind of just focused on getting our food kind of where it should be. And now we're focusing on exercising. So um, the first kind of start was last Sunday when I posted on my Instagram that Beth Chadwick had uploaded a new video. Really felt really inspired by her video. So thank you very much, Beth, for that. I posted on my Instagram that I was in my gym gear for like the past, for the first time in like, I don't know how long. And it was great. I just did a low, a low um, impact workout with good old Joe Wicks. Um, really enjoyed it. And then Brett got a, road bike so he has got a road um a bike trainer which he has in his office so he is wanting to get fit um through the use of a bike and i already have a bike but just never never used it because brett didn't have one so we've been going on bike rides and it's been amazing we've had the most amazing weather and we've just enjoyed it so much we're really lucky and fortunate to live where we do you know we're here in wales in the countryside and the back lanes that we have are just a dream. It's just been so nice. Really difficult, really hard, but brilliant. So we're really trying to focus on just being fit really and living more of a healthier life. So that's going well. I'll keep you posted in my next one. Um, hopefully in episode 11, I will be saying the same thing, that it's continuing, but we'll see. It's early days, um, but yeah, we're, we're loving it so far. Shall we start with our finishes? I think we should. We have two today, which I'm really, really excited about. And one of them is my March Madness winner, which I am so excited to have finally finished. Didn't get it in time for March, but that's okay. As long as it's finished, that's the main thing. So my, Mar my March Madness uh, winner was Hello Petal by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. I'm going to insert a picture of where I was the last time I showed you. 
I didn't have that much to go um, and I managed to finish it since my I last filmed in two days. Technically two days and half a, and, and 30 minutes into another day. <laughs> so here is the final finish. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad it's finished. It is such a beautiful piece. The colours and everything are just amazing. It's a strange one because if you thought about having a pink leaf in a design, you'd probably question it. But when you put all of them colours together, it's just magical. I love it. I love it so much and I can't wait to see this in autumn. And it's finally finished. So I finished this at half 12 in the morning on the 10th of April. I think it was a Saturday or a Friday. I can't remember when the 10th was. And I was on a really good roll. I was just stitching away and I was making really good progress on this. And I think I had all of this section to do and the tree. And that was it. And I think I finished it at half 11. And then I realised there were some little motifs in the tree that I'd completely missed. And I just kept stitching and stitching. And I was so determined to get this done on that day. And I finished it. And I was just, I was so happy that it's finally finished. It's 10 days late, but that's okay. It's finished. So yeah, Hello Petal is, it's not Hello Petal, Hello Pumpkin is finally finished. And I mentioned in my last video, there is a um, salve running with this. So for those of you who want to take part, the hashtag is Hello Pumpkin, what time do you call this? I'll stick it on the screen. Um, and that's being run by Emma X Stitching and Belusi Stitches. And I know there's quite a lot of people taking part in that. I think Beth Chadwick is also taking part in that stitch along so there's quite a few people so yeah if you have this maybe in stash or you're you're currently working on it then definitely get involved in the stitch along because it does it does add a lot of fun when you do stitch alongs with other people so that is now my two trees finished yay so this is hello dear which I finished and now we've got hello pumpkin Aren't they just amazing? I just love these trees so much. Sally is so clever with her designs. I just love that. They are just amazing. So I haven't fully finished this yet and I probably won't until Hello Sunshine gets released and gets finished, which is very soon. Pre-orders are very soon, I know that. Um, but yeah, I wanna frame them all together. I think I will frame them but I don't know what type of frame yet. I don't know what colour and I don't know where they're going to go. I want them to be downstairs for when visitors come to the house. I do want them to be kind of like a central piece. So I need to make sure that they fit with kind of the room and the frames that are already on the walls. So, but it's finished. I actually started that on the 1st of November and it's finally finished. So yeah, that is the first finish. Then we'll move on to the second one. Again, this was a March Madness start. It was a new start. And I started this on the 8th of March and it got one day. And so I'll insert a picture of where I was when I started this. And I don't know if I've said, this is Autumn by Tiny Modernist and it's a freebie. So if you like the look of this, this is a free chart that you can get from their website. And here is where we are now. It's finished. So I did this on natural 32 count Murano, which is a beautiful color. I really like this color. And I did my own color conversion. So I just used whatever colours were in my stash and I really like how this turned out. I did consider doing some back stitching, but I ended up not deciding to do that as I wasn't really sure how the back stitching would look on the squirrel. And I actually just like how it is as it is really. 
Um, it's just really weird how I've managed to finish two autumn pieces in spring. I don't really know how that worked. <laughs> But one of the reasons why I decided to pick this up and try and finish it is because I just really want my whip list to go down, my work in progress is, so I can start new ones. <laughs> so yeah, this one's finished. Now I'm not too sure how I'm going to um, frame or finish this one. I think I might do it very similar to the Country Cottage Needleworks January sampler. I really like the idea of the um, sitting on an easel maybe, with a bow or something like that. Um, I haven't got any material, even though I bought a load of material in um, a couple of weeks ago, or maybe was it a couple of months ago maybe, I don't really have anything that would really go with this. So I'm going to have a look and see if there's any autumn type colours, maybe an orange or maybe a yellow or a brown, something like that would look quite nice with some like autumn, autumn colours. I did even consider maybe like some autumn leaves or something. If anyone's got any ideas or suggestions on, on what to do with this, let me know because I'm really open to some ideas with that one. Let's move on to whips. So I decided to do something a little bit different this time. And I think March Madness did open my eyes to quite a lot really in that I am normally... I don't really like to be structured in my cross stitching, although I didn't think I liked it. And March Madness, although there were some things I didn't really like about March Madness, there were some things I really did like. And one of them was kind of having a focus piece or, you know, working on something specific for that day. So what I decided to do was do a three day rotation, which I think is quite a popular way of working and I have really enjoyed it and I didn't use a rotation wheel or anything on you know deciding on what to work on I just whatever I picked that day for day one I would work for three on for three days so the first one I picked up was Through the Storm by the Silver Creek Samplers and as you guys know I love Silver Creek Samplers And this one I'm doing as for mine and Brett's wedding. So I am going to be making it a wedding piece. But I am doing some changes on this. So I'll insert where I was last time. And this is where we are now. So I've made progress and also gone backwards <laughs> so let's talk about the progress so I have now added together at the bottom so it now has the full saying which I love and the flowers have been added and the little swan has been added as well and as you can see from if we can compare the two I have made some changes if I can get them both in the right hands. That's not working well, is it? Mm, you can kind of see. So on the bottom is says together in red and the flowers are in red and pink. However, when I read this, I don't automatically read the together at the same time. And I don't really know why. The only reason I could think of was it's in a different colour. So I decided to switch out the red and I put together in blue. And I, I do prefer it. I am really happy with how that turned out. The other change that I made was the colours of the, of the flowers. I decided to use Classic Colour Works Pumpkin Harvest and Ripe Melon and I love them colours as well. When I added the swan, which I have done in the Call for Colours, the droplets didn't look right because I did that in pure BMC, BMC. I did that in pure DMC white, the B5200 
and because the uh, the white in the uh, duckling is over dyed it just it didn't look right the white there was two different colors in the whites which you know is obvious and so I decided to take that out and I also replaced the grey with the four core four colours as well. So yeah, I just made a few changes to this one. And I also did have a sunshine before and I no longer have a sunshine. I just didn't really like how the over dye was looking in the sunshine. So I decided to take that out and I'm going to use a different yellow. So it has like a gold, a gold look. I'm going to go for a bit more of a yellow, I think, on this one. So I am loving it though. I decided to change the writing to what I had in stash because that was actually the first thing I started and I used 3768 for that. Um, so yeah, really enjoying it and I'm looking forward to having this one finished as this will probably go in our house somewhere downstairs. I'm doing this on pearl grey 32 count, which I am loving. So I don't think there's that much more to go on that one. I have all the grass that I need to do and some of, and I need to finish the, uh, the raindrops and put the extra swan in, etc. So I suppose there is still quite a bit to do, but it's definitely getting there. I haven't been able to source the um, darker colour in the clouds, so that may just hold me back a little bit, but I can always do that bit last. So yeah, I am really enjoying that. I think I probably will put that in my next rotation, only because I do really enjoy stitching that one, so I think that probably will come back out. Okay, on to the next one. And that is the Heritage Charts. So this is a kit and this is by Valerie Pfeiffer Harmonies. I said it right, guys. Thank you so much for those of you who helped me with the saying. I knew when I was editing, editing the last video, I was like, that is so wrong. <laughs> Why did you even say the name? <laughs> but we know how to say it now. So this one I am stitching with my sister as a stitch along and it is super cute. Again, this one got three days and I started in the middle and this is where I was last time. I'll take a picture, I'll insert a picture here of where I was last time. And this is where we are now. We have another bird, yay. Oh, I just love it, I love it so much. So this little guy here has now got his back stitching, which I'll bring it close so you can see. How cute. And now we have another little bird. Oh, I just love it so much. It's just the cutest thing ever. It's gonna be a really nice piece. So there's gonna be four more birds added here. I have done these two so if I put them close together you'll be able to see so these are the two that I have done it's just cute it's just yeah I'm just loving it I think there is an element of me stitching this which my dad bought me because my dad gave me some money I think that that element's in there. I think my, the fact that my sister's stitching it, that just adds, you know, it being a special piece as well. And it's just the cutest thing ever. So yeah, I got three days on that as well. And I'm looking forward to seeing how another three days will do. Maybe every three days I might be able to get a new bird. I don't know. I think I stitched this on a weekend, so three days of a weekend. So I managed to get quite a lot done on that one. So we will see, maybe if I time it right to make sure it's on a weekend, I might be able to get another bird on there, we'll see. Okay, the next one, I had finished, um, I can't remember which one I'd finished working on, but I didn't really know what else to stitch on. I wasn't too sure. And I think that's why some of you use the wheel or you know the choosing app because it can be quite 
overwhelming sometimes when you have quite a few uh, work in progresses on the go. You can get a little bit unsure of what to work on. Um, so I asked Evelyn, Evelyn across the pond, I messaged her and said, what shall I work on next? You choose. So I sent her my whip list and she chose one of my March Madness new starts. And she knows that my whip list is something I want to get down. So she was really kind and chose a small for me. And so she chose the Tiny Modernist um, Home Stitch Home, which uh, uh, was a new start. And here is a picture of where I was last time you saw it. And here is where we are now. So this one, I am kind of stitching as I go. I planned out the colours and I haven't, you know, gone away from the colours I've chosen. I haven't added more or taken anything. But when I started this, I knew I wanted a white house and that's really all I wanted. I didn't know about anything else. I kind of imagined that the fence would be white, which it's not, it's brown. I thought that the door would be brown, but it's not, it's green. I have blinds. Can you see them? I don't know how close I can get. There's blinds that are pink. And yeah, I just, it's so cute. It's, I just think it's amazing that it's a freebie if I'm honest. Um, I'm doing this on 32 count natural. This is the same as uh, the autumn. So it's just a cut off piece from the autumn piece that I did. And so yeah, I'm doing this on 30 count natural Murano. Really enjoy um, this material. I just love it. It's very similar to the feel of Through the Storm. Not, yeah, Through the Storm. And so yeah, I'm just loving this. I am hoping to get this finished soon. I do like the idea of finishing this on like a house shape frame. I have seen some on eBay. Um, so I do like the idea of that or again, kind of finishing it like the easel style. I don't really know yet how I'm gonna finish it. It depends kind of where it's gonna go. I feel like it's something that should go in this room because it's kind of my crafting stitching room. As, obviously it's my office as well, but I don't know, I feel like this is very personal to me. So I think maybe an easel would be quite cute, but I also like the idea of the, of the house shape frames. But I love this. I just, I think there's something about changing the color of design. I don't do it on purpose. It's not something that I automatically do, but if I look at a pattern and I think that them particular colors may not suit my house or my style, there is something quite challenging and creative about just creating your own colors and kind of hoping that it turns out well. And I'm really happy with how this is turning out. It's really cozy and homely and I don't know, I just I just really like the colours. I think they really work really well. If anybody ever wants to know kind of what I've used or anything, just let me know and I'll I can send you across um, the colours that I have used. Okay, on to the fourth whip. So I really wanted to touch on my spring items, so I got out the Dax and Duffs Ducks, I say that wrong every time. Ducks and Daffs by Buffy Threads Rendell Designs. And for those of you who follow Buffy Threads, you will know that they are bringing out their summer collection. And that is gonna be released on the 11th of May. So definitely keep an eye out for that. I'm sure there'll be some that I want to purchase. Um, so let's have a look. Where were we last time? I will insert a picture of where I was last time. I think I did the, um, the a bit more down towards the body. So again, this one got three days and this is where we're at. So he's now starting to get a bit more of a body. So I really enjoyed stitching this little guy because the confetti wasn't too bad. There is quite a lot of um, 
blocking in the area. So if I just put these up together, you can see where we're at. So I think I am just going to work down. I think I'm just going to finish this little guy. Um, and yeah, I think I'll just finish this little guy and then maybe move on to the, to the other one. Um, yeah, he's cute and she's lovely as well. One thing I do really wish, and I don't know if any other bossy thread stitchers kind of have the same opinion, is that I just wish that they gave even weave as an option, but I don't know how that works with the flecking of the black. I think I did see on Lakeside Needlecrafts that you can get the option to buy even weave um, with this speckled look, but it would be quite nice to have the option, I suppose. And you know, I you could buy buy that material, but I think when you're buying a kit, it is nice to use the material because then it's just kind of a waste if you don't. But um, it doesn't put me off. I will always stitch bossy thread kits because I just love them, especially if they are Rendell designs because I'm obsessed, <laughs> as everybody knows. Um, so I currently have two up here in this office. I have the one that you can't see and there's one in front of me. And so I'm looking forward to adding this one. Although I think this would probably go in my kitchen because our kitchen is has blue in it. So I think this would look really, really pretty in there. Um, so I think that might be where I put this one. So that is Dax, Daffs and Ducks, I'm doing it again. So the last one is Hello Petal. So this is the stitch along that um, myself and Evelyn, Mary Ashcraft, uh, Beth Chadwick, Honeybee Stitcher, the Clumsy Stitcher. There are so many of us, I'm sure I've missed somebody out, but there are so many of us who are stitching this together. So I will insert a picture of where I was last time. I think I'd only done the Daffodil and the Rabbit. And here is where we are now. He's so cute. So as you can see, I am doing my own color conversion. Um, I will insert a picture of you know what it's gonna what it does look like um, charted. But I am doing my own colors. I decided that I just wanted to use some of the colors in my stash instead of buying more. Um, DMC threads I just decided to you know use my own colors and I'm actually enjoying the the challenge I suppose this is kind of the same as what I said about the home stitch home in that there is that challenging aspect of when you change colors in a pattern you kind of hope that it turns out well and I am really pleased with how this is looking um, so I'll just do a little bit of a close up. So I'm doing this on white linen, 28, 28 count white linen, and I'm really enjoying it. I thought that I would be kind of put off from 28 count um, following Hello Pumpkin, just because of the coverage that I, I didn't enjoy with that one. But with this one, I am using two strands over two, and I am happy with the coverage. The holes are a lot smaller with linen, so I am really enjoying this one. So this is currently on day two, I think, of the rotation, I think. So I think I will finish another day on this and then I'll move on to the next, next uh, project. And these come in so handy, these Q-snap um, covers that my mum made. They're just, love them. So yeah, that is the Hello Petal Tree. And if you are currently thinking about doing the tree or want to join in, then make sure to tag in the Hello Petal Cell tag so we can see everyone's progress. I'm really enjoying seeing everyone um, creating their pieces. And I think we're all starting in the same place. I think we've all started in the middle and done the rabbit first, which has been great to see everybody's uh, everybody's progress on the um, chart. 
So let's get into haul. So I have actually bought quite a lot this month, but I am going to share in my next video what I've bought and whenever it arrives kind of thing, um, instead of just showing pictures and things. So I just have two things here to talk about today. And the first one is the Pontini Pontini Home Sweet Home, which is a Needleworks Expo release. And I just love this. As soon as I saw it, I knew I needed it. And the thing that I really enjoy about Pontini and Pontini um, Paula's um, patterns is they come with the little button. I bought this from the Nimble Thimble. Um, they used to sell their items on eBay and I did actually get this from eBay, but they've now recently stopped selling on eBay because they now have their own website, which is brilliant. So I would definitely recommend going and have a look over there. They have some from Liz Matthews. They did have some Autumn Lane stitchery on their eBay before they closed it. Haven't seen that uploaded yet onto their site, but they did have quite a lot of Autumn Lane stitchery on there. And they obviously have Pantini Pantini. So they have some really, really great patterns. So I would definitely look out um, for them if, you're, if you live in the UK. So that's that one. Don't know when I'm gonna start that one. The way I'm working with my whips, if I can get a few more finishes, then I'll probably start it. The next one I think everybody has bought, and that is the Emma Condon Cross Stitch of the Earth. This is amazing. For the price of it as well, I was really, really surprised. I saw this on Instagram because there was, you know, quite a lot of um, people talking about it, and I knew instantly that it would be something that I'd be interested in. Then on the day of the release, Mama Loves You from G, um, Mama Loves You GP Michelle posted a video on her channel. So for those of you who are interested, you can go and see a flip through. It's about a minute and a half long, and Michelle has done a flip through of the book, and I instantly fell in love with this book. I was so shocked at how. Um, cheap this book was I personally think it's worth double because I just love it I love it I bought this from Amazon and I am so excited to start some of these projects in here there are three that I love I will quickly show you the insides um, just because I think quite a few floss tubers have probably already showed this but I'll just give you a quick glimpse of what it is inside just in case this is the first time you've seen it. But like I said, there is a video on um, Mama Loves You GB Michelle's uh, Flush You video, so definitely go and check that out. Okay, so the three that I love are, so the first one I love is Pardon the Weeds, We're Feeding the Bees. I just love that. So that is, um, Stitch count 84 by 123, and it's six inches by eight and a half inches, eight and three quarter of inches. So it's not huge, but I just think it's really cute. And I hate gardening, so I just think that's a great one to have because I just hate weeding. And you know what, it's so true. The weeds, you know, they do have a, they do play their part. Um, so I love that one. So the next one I love as well is this one. So it is The Earth Has Music For Those Who Listen by William Shakespeare. And that is so true. If you take a minute just to stand and listen to the birds, it's just amazing. And it's one of the things that I love about living here is that we have three beautiful trees and they're just full of birds. And it's just so nice to sit in the garden and just listen to the birds singing. Now this one is my favorite. And when I saw this one, this is the one that made me buy it. And for those of you who know me, you'll know why. <laughs> so it says, be kind to all that live. And that is something that I truly believe in and live my life by. And this one is 101 by 130 
and it's nine inches and a quarter by seven inches and a quarter. And I just love it so much. I've been looking for something like this for such a long time and this is definitely one that I am going to stitch and I can't wait. I just love that the little spider and the little hedgehog, I just love it. So yeah, that is my two things that I purchased this month. Like I said, I have bought some other things and I'll share them in my next video. I am also potentially going to share what I got for, um, I was going to say for Christmas, gosh, what I got for my birthday. Um, I did a what I got for Christmas and you guys seem to enjoy that so I may do a what I got for my birthday. I may just implement it into a floss, floss tube instead of doing a separate video. Um, so plans, I don't really have any plans this time. I'm just going to carry on with what I'm doing. I really enjoy the three, um, three day rotation. Really, re really enjoying that. And I'm just going to stitch on whatever kind of calls to me. I think I will probably focus on home stitch home try and get that one finished and I am enjoying through the storm so they're probably two that I'll definitely stitch on but other than that I don't know so hopefully I'll be back in two weeks time and hopefully we might have some more finishes fingers crossed and we might have some new starts I think I have to do a birthday start don't I maybe so that's it that's it from me guys Thank you all for hanging out with me today and catching up with me and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.